until everything is ready. But Thomas was too excited to listen. What happened then, no one knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train, or perhaps the driver pulled the lever by mistake. Anyhow, Thomas started without his coaches. As he passed the first signal tower, men waved and shouted, but he didn't stop. They're waving because I'm such a splendid engine, he thought importantly. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Hurry, 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 he puffed, pretending to be like Gordon. People have never seen me pulling a train before. It's nice of them to wave. And he whistled. Beep, beep. Thank you. Then he came to a signal at danger. Bother, he thought. I must stop. And I was going so nicely, too. What a nuisance signals are. He blew an angry beep, beep on his whistle. The signalman ran up. Hello, Thomas, he said. What are you doing here? I'm pulling a train, said Thomas. Can't you see? Where are your coaches, then? Thomas looked back. Why, bless me, he said, if we haven't left them behind. Yes, said the signalman. You'd better go back quickly and fetch them. Poor Thomas was so sad, he nearly cried. Cheer up, said his driver. Let's go back quickly and try again. all the passengers were talking at once. They were telling Sir Topham Hatt what a bad railway it was. But when Thomas came back, they saw how sad he was and couldn't be cross. He was coupled to the train, and this time he really pulled it. Afterwards, the other engines laughed at Thomas and said, Look, there's Thomas, who wanted to pull a train, but forgot about the coaches. But Thomas had already learned not to make the same mistake again. 